That is the stupidest. <laughs> Los Angeles and we decided to go to downtown Disney so we're just gonna hang around here for a little bit maybe go to another mall on the beach and stuff but um yeah so stay tuned for some cool stuff happening at Disney <laughs> accidentally packed our dog's booties in the suitcase and we left it at the hotel for today. So, we have dogs that can't walk on the ground so we have to pick them up every time we're gonna walk on the hot pavement. So we're coming in here trying to find like shoes or socks, something for them that they can use that will protect their feet a lot better than them just walking barefoot. Um, so that's what we're on a mission for right now. That's probably what's gonna fit them because they're stretchy. Ooh, that's better. Ooh, yeah, that's way better. Okay. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. These are youth though. Those aren't infants. They might fit though. If you, you don't think like, these ones would fit? No, but these ones are thicker and they won't like feel how thick. Are you excited to wear some Disney socks? <laughs> Cody, what are you doing? Cody, what are you doing? Are you wearing little socks that keep sliding off? Great. An avocado. And like a cloud. Cloudy bee. You have socks on? What is up? We're here with Mickey. Hey. And we're <laughs> Jacob. 
and she caught us. We were just chilling, and she's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> so yeah, we started vlogging a little bit. We didn't really get much footage, but. But yeah, we like go. I ran into Todd at Hall earlier and oh, I really we flipped out of that picture of him. That's so awesome. But I didn't say hi and I'm like, okay, if I see anybody else today, I have to say right. hi. And I just happened to run into my favorite YouTuber. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Well, I mean, other than Shane Dawson, like you're my favorite person. Because I watch Listen, every Listen, nobody who's called Shane Dawson saw Nanan. Not at all. Oh, my gosh. You're so cute. The ground is so hot. Oh yeah. We went in there and we got the, the socks, but we went down there. We didn't know there was like the entrance to Disney World, and like I literally my feet were burning through my shoes. I was like, okay, so we started carrying them. Oh my god. They're like, what are you doing? This is not a perfect. And people were like, why are they holding those big dogs? And I'm like, save the feet. Absolutely. Yeah, it was nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, we definitely have to do grocery shopping though. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. The ground is way too hot. So, we have this happening right now. <laughs> like, I How is she supposed to test from the stroller, ma'am? I. It's too hot. Are you sure I that's mean, a real service dog? It's way too hot. It's It really it, is. We, we, we feel, bought... No, I'm wearing... Vans, tennis shoes, and I feel the heat underneath my feet. And I'm wearing moccasins, which are worse, but I could literally, my feet are burning right now. My feet are too. So, we put them in the strollers because the socks are clearly not doing anything. Even if I had her rough wear boots on, I don't think they're gonna do anything. They're appreciating that their feet aren't getting burnt right now. I'm just gonna say this now. If you guys are gonna comment and have a problem about the dogs and the strollers, whatever, we're gonna wipe them down before we put them away or we, you know, leave them wherever. Oops. There you go. Okay, um, Dakota almost fell out a little bit there. Before we put them back, we will wipe them down just in case any kids have allergies or any of that. But we have 50 pound dogs. We have been carrying them around here for like an hour. So I'm sorry, but we need to do what we gotta do. I have really bad knees and my knees are already buckling from holding clouds. So yeah, this is a lot better for me too. They were gonna make us wait an hour for a wheelchair. So we can't do that either. So we're just, we're doing what we gotta do. Okay, okay. Back to carrying them because we couldn't take them out of the park. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even see them. So this is what we have to do is carry them. Do you want me to carry her? <laughs> do you want me to carry her for you for your knees? No, I'm good. Okay, she's literally falling. <laughs> Poor clown. <laughs> You're doing good, baby. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great, honey. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you.
still get the airport for a whole other day. Because we were 10 minutes late. 10 minutes late because of LA traffic. Can you believe that? So we had to pay $300, $300 later. Um, <laughs> we finally got put on another plane that doesn't leave until 3 p.m. tomorrow, technically today. Um, <laughs> and time is not even a thing for me anymore. We're just taking it like, whenever shit happens, it happens. Time doesn't even exist with all these time differences. It is horrible, so. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. And Nolan is pushing Maddie, we're taking turns because it is exhausting. <sighs> and I look like hell hit me because hell did. <laughs> so we're gonna take a little nap. Yeah. Dakota's already taken a nap. Get up. Wake him up, baby. Yes. Cody, Coda, wake him up. Go wake daddy up. Go wake him up. Go get him. <laughs> she was just getting him. Good morning. No. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> she says, come on, dad. Come on. Many bags look alike. Please take a moment to ensure that the bag <laughs> Nolan. is yours. Hey! Your Wake up! We're gonna go lunch. outside. Well, I don't know about Maddie, but I'm gonna go outside. And wake oh, up, cause... So it's 12 p.m. Cali time now. And we're letting the dogs go potty. Before we turn the suitcase in and go through security and start waiting for our 3 p.m. flight. It is absolutely crazy here, but at least we got some sleep. Um, so that's a good thing. But I just want to go home. <laughs> so we made it to the like inside of the airport, like basically where you get on the plane. And this dog walked by in a service dog bus, and I said under my breath, that's not a service dog. And the girl heard me, and she came back over. And she goes, he's in training. Mind you, it's a wiener dog in a tiny little service dog vest. She goes, he's in training, he's in training. I said, okay, either way, service dog's in training. Shouldn't act like that. The dog's not supposed to be in public. It acts like that. Obviously, it's an airport. Like, literally, your dog is like three fucking pounds. Just call it a pet. End of the day. But she wanted to argue and everybody was staring and it was pretty fucking hilarious because I was like and then <laughs> instead of just saying like oh like whatever he's in training she goes are you coming for my disability like no I'm coming for the untrained dog you idiot any more shit going they're trying to make maddie move because she's in the aisle seat with cloud when we flew here i had dakota in the aisle seat yes no well we were on, like, on the just, very first flight that we did i was in here and you were over there and then we switched thing. around we exactly there's, there's so just many problems one thing after just another want to keep giving us more problems like we're, we're oh never flying this airline again i'm honestly going to contact them and tell them about this whole entire experience yeah we're never flying this airline again never fly spirit if you can avoid it don't fucking fly spirit 
It's horrible. It's true. Well, y'all could have just gave us the bulk seating. Exactly. That we needed. Oh, no, that's premium. You have to pay more for that. God forbid you're disabled and need more space. You have to pay more for it. She's not She's not moving. We, we flew like this two times on this exact airline with the dog like that. So I don't understand what the problem is. She's not outside the aisle at all. No, I'm sorry, but we've had too many problems going with this airline, and we're really fed up by now. I don't understand what your problem is with the dog. The dog's not in the aisle. I mean, it sucks as it is because we asked. No, it's not accommodation because we asked for bulk seating. And they're like, you have to pay because you have a disability. Yeah. They literally have to pay. It's just like you guys, you, it's not you, but the, the airline's giving us problem after problem. And we've never had this problem before. I've flown many times with my you services. Just to get hit to well, he's not, she's not going to get hit. The dog's not going to move, but okay. Because we already, like you said, we already asked for bulk seating. That was the, 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 the accommodation we got denied for. Yeah. So you want to make us move again? Like, no. Ma'am. Have you ever heard of that? They're trying to make her move to another row because of the dog. We have those people back there. The other two flight attendants are trying to make her move. We're all together, right? We're, we're family. We're trying to make her move. We have two we're service dogs. Row. We're in this row. Like, all of our yeah. passes say 11 A, B, and C. And they're trying to make her move because the dog is is facing the we've aisle. Already, we've already we've flown, flown twice on this airline. On this airline with the dog sitting in that seat. Come on down. Exactly. Literally. She, they're, they're trained to tuck, so she's not going to move at all. I mean, it's not only that, but we, we try to get bulk seating because they're so big and it's, it's really hard. Like, I have no footroom, and they were trying to charge us extra. And look at how squished Dakota is. Like, look at, literally look at how squished she is. And like, oh my god, her tail is out a tiny Barely. bit. God forbid. Man, my foot is more fast than anything. It's the, it's the fucking cart. The cart that has all the treats, or not the treats, the snacks that you buy. That takes up the whole entire aisle when they go past. Yeah, exactly. It's because of that. Back there. <laughs> I'm behind the wheel, so you're not safe. Oh my god. It's her! Ah! That might be our next stop. Huh? I said, can that be our next stop? What? The bathroom. Yeah. There is one in there. I know, now the guy left, and I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Hey! For a wheelchair, because... Trying to do again, Maddie? Kick us off the plane this time. She's out of the highway. She's out of the. She's not even in the yellow one. Okay. Oh no, they're coming. They're coming. Hey guys. See, you can't even see them. You don't even know where they're at. No, uh, the, my only uh, issue was the paws were in the aisle, and I'm thinking. Is there any way that we can put both dogs like a middle seat in the middle seat? They're both so they're, they're both fifty pound dogs, and they already don't have enough room as it is. So we have the middle seat open so that they have more space, like equally. I got you. I got you. Well, my only issue is it gets dark walking down the aisles when we do trash and stuff, and I'm coming. I'm coming across from my heart to you. I mm -hmm. love dogs. I have an eighteen year old boxer in my life, so I, I love dogs. I don't want to step on the dog's paws accidentally. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my concerns is if the dog is here, 
we're going to step on the dog's paws potentially. I mean, we've we've and flown. That's never to. happened. Yeah, well, no. There's Just, always never say never. So that's why I'm asking. Can we please move the dog over more that way? We physically. She's literally not even. Aisle yeah, right. they, no, but a while ago she was. That was the concern. Okay, well, that's because we just got in. We're just trying to settle in. No worries, no worries, no worries. She's fine. Like I said, just please make sure the paws don't get in the office. I do not want to step on them. I got 13 They'll be feet, fine. so I'm fine. not trying to step on dog's paws. They'll be fine. They'll right. be fine. Thanks a lot. They'll be fine. Fine. No, it was just rude. He was like, we can remove you from the plane. Who said that? The other guy? The other guy, remember? Mm. That's why I was like, they're trying to kick us off. I'm, I'm like trying to emphasize, I'm like, they're 50 pound dogs. You can't cram yeah, so them. If you really are concerned, give us bulk seating. Have exactly. Hey, fucking exactly. If you're really that fucking concerned, then give us the bigger seats. Mm-hmm. Instead of charging extra for somebody else to sit in them. Right. That is the stupidest... <gasps> <laughs> what even was that? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't understand. They sound like something heavy fucking drunk. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, what even just happened? <laughs> what the they sound like a right boulder. What? There's a person that we can get scared. Is that your birth? Her paw is not part of the car. Another thing that you just call it. I'm just going to find out. I'm just, I'm done. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, there are passengers in the information cards in the seat belt pockets in front of you that illustrate the safety. Who's ready to go home? We finally made it to Tampa after forever. So, of course, as soon as we get here, my mom's car breaks down in the parking lot. So she takes an extra 20 minutes to come and get us. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's not, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Hmm. <laughs> What's up? Can I go see Gamma? Is that Gamma? <gasps> Is that Gamma? Oh, she missed it. You, oh, she's like, hi, hi, I can love you more from up here. She's like, well, Dakota's really excited to see you, so I should be too, right? Look at how excited. I kept saying, you want to see Gamma? You want to see Gamma? And she kept getting so excited. She's like, I missed you, Gamma. Oh, get over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. She's like, let me. <laughs> Cloud got in the car. Oh, Coda, no, 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 no. Oh, I poked her in the eye. She's trying to get in there. Let me get my finger went in her eye. Oh, my God. She's so happy. Get back home. Get back home. Yes. So we're almost back. We're literally, like, in the neighborhood. But... Her little someone missed me, so we're gonna catch his reaction to seeing his mommy again. So let's roll a clip. Okay. Huh. Okay. <gasps> yes. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, he's turning into a little man. Look at how big he is. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh he even got the excited tinkle. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, my God. He grew so much. Hi. Oh, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Did you miss Mommy? Did you miss Mommy? Max. Max, come here. Oh. He's like, I have to pee, and I'm excited, so. They're like real grass. So they, they, they got like, how tall he got. He was so long. He was 
so short. Like his body was short. No, no. no. Oh my god. Hey, come on. Not in the road, babies. Are you so happy to coat us here in cloud? Oh my god. He's bigger than her now. You have to dye Max's tail red. Look at how I know. Look how awkward his body is. Yeah, he's not Babe, get Dakota. Hey, come here. No, 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 come here. Nah. I'm just going to Hey, Max. Max, come here. Hmm. Look at Cloudy B matching the suitcase and shit. <laughs> Oh, you missed the cutest moment. Like even this much. They were like hugging. <laughs> it was so cute. Go, go get him. Get out of the road. Alright, you guys gotta get those two last Come on.